Joe, here we are at the Gary Marshall. Gary Marshall Theater. Incredible night. Tell us about it. Uh, it's incredible because it's honoring Jerry Mitchell with Billy Porter, Marissa Jarrett Winoker, Sabrina Sloan, and Jackie Seiden. What a great night. And it's Gary Marshall and Jerry Mitchell. Both have two R's in their names, and they're such kindred spirits. It's an amazing night to celebrate. And you're a big part of this theater. Tell us a little bit yeah. about what you do. Well, I've been here for about 20 years. I started as like a PA. And now I, and now I run the joint, as they say. So uh, it's a great place to be. It's my second home, always has been. Yeah. And uh, you were Jersey Boy as well? I was, in, I was in Jersey Boys, yeah, yeah. I played Frankie for nine years. Wow. Nine. Nine. So tell us where people can find info about the Gary Marshall. Oh, they can go to GaryMarshallTheater.org. Gary has two R's, Marshall has two L's, and theater, T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Thank you so much. Thanks, Have fun tonight. Thank you. We will. We will. Thank you. Okay. So here we are with Anna White. Hello. Thank you for having me. So um, you have a great story of how you met Gary Marshall. I do. I was actually still in high school. Um, it was the week after 9-11 and I had an audition for Happy Days the Musical and we were in the lobby of this theater which was then the Falcon Theater 
And I'll never forget, he came out and he said, I think the world needs happy days. So it was like the perfect time to bring that joy to the world because everyone was looking for that nostalgia um, right after 9-11. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And um, and so how tonight we were here with um, Billy Porter and celebrating uh, Royal Broadway royalty, Jerry Mitchell. Yeah. Yes, it's so exciting. I've actually never worked with Jerry, which is like such a disappointment uh, because our paths never cross. But I was doing Grease on Broadway right when they were opening up Legally Blonde, which was like right down the street. So I had so many friends. So I just never got that opportunity to work with him uh, during my my like nine years in New York. And um, so obviously you started uh, with uh, Gary so many years ago and you maintained that friendship. Yes, Gary's been very good to me. So I met him, I think I was 17. And from then, after doing all the happy days, I, I did a lot here at the theater. But he was kind enough to put me in, I think I was in five of his films. And his family has taken me under their wing. And now I just love this space. I actually earned my equity card in this theater. So it has a very special place in my heart. So do you have any um, projects that you're working on right now? I am currently on staff with, I am the staging supervisor for a uh, Disney Princess concert. Oh, and uh, what else is happening? I don't know, there's always little projects here and there, but I've kind of crossed over to the other side of things. Yeah, which is so important and something that Gary um, kind of mentored you for. Right? Exactly, yeah. He always liked that you were able to do more than one thing. So he would even, after we'd have long days of filming, we'd even have dinner dates where he would then talk to me about, like, what happened um, that day on set? And, um... <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Um, he would talk to me about what happened that day on set and also um, teach me how to, uh, what a producer would do and, and how to talk to actors and, you know, really help um, guide me through my career that way. He was such an amazing man and we love the Gary Marshall Theater. He's done so much for the community, obviously. So where can we find you on social media? You can find me on social media. I have a website that's AnnaAmyWhite.com. So check it out. You'll find me there. Thank you so much. So here we are with... Sabrina Sloan. And we're at the Gary Marshall Theater. We're yes. celebrating Jerry Mitchell. Yes. Tonight. So tell us a little bit about your relationship with Jerry Mitchell. Oh, I met Jerry when I was 21 and I was doing uh, Hairspray, my Broadway debut uh, on Broadway in the original company. And then I did the first national tour of that show. And then I worked with him again in Peep Show in Las Vegas and then Catch Me If You Can on Broadway. So my career is sprinkled with Jerry Mitchell and so many wonderful moments and memories that I have with him. And uh, it was really an honor to be able to tribute him tonight. And um, was this your first time at the Gary Marshall Theater? I have seen shows at the Gary Marshall Theater. I saw my friend Jackie also perform tonight in Happy Days here years ago. And um, it's so great to have this amazing theater um, with such a legacy uh, here in L.A. You know, to, to just see beautiful, wonderful, fun art um, in, in Los Angeles. And you got to sing on stage today. I did. It was fun. It was fun. I really enjoyed singing with, with old friends, too. It was great hearing them, too. And um, what projects are you working on right now? I'm working on a play at the Geffen Playhouse, and uh, it's called King Liz. And I play a basketball sports agent, which is really fun. Um, and that opens for previews July 12th, and then it, the run is from July 18th through August 14th. So I'm really excited about that. Oh, and, and it's great, and we're back to theater, so hopefully everyone can come see yes, you. Yes, yes. Um, I think that they still have mask wearing in the audience uh, at the Geffen, but I'm just so grateful to be able to be on stage and doing live theater again. It's, it's incredible. Wonderful. And where can people find you on social media? On Instagram, I'm Sabrina Sloan NYC. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Rory O'Malley. And uh, I have been a part of the Gary Marshall Theater and basically made myself an adopted member of the Marshall family since 2004. When I did my first play here, Snoopy, I played Charlie Brown in Snoopy the Musical right after I graduated college and moved out here and knew no one. And Gary gave me that job. 
And uh, I just stuck around and I got a job down the street at Timmy Nolan's Irish Pub because my last name's O'Malley. They hired me and just did every single play that they let me do here, including Happy Days the Musical and played Richie Cunningham for him. Uh, and Paul Williams, that version of, of Happy Days, and did that for a few years, and then did it in New York, and I started doing Broadway shows out there, 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, Book of Mormon, and then was able to be the king in Hamilton, and uh, Gary got to come out and see me as the king in Hamilton, and uh, it was the last time that we were together is, is when he got to, to see that. So this place means a whole lot to me. It's certainly where I got my start as a professional actor, and uh, the Marshall family and everyone involved, every fog, every friend of Gary has been such a helpful part of my life and my career. Yeah, what an amazing man. And we, we love Gary and that he has this theater for everybody. And what an amazing career you've had. That's great. Yeah, I am, I am a very, very lucky guy. And it's because I've had people like Gary uh, in my corner and Gary always fought for me and, and gave me so much so I'm glad I get to be here tonight and support him and this theater and, and everything that it means to all of us. And what did you think of the show tonight? The show tonight I felt was made for me specifically. I loved every bit of it because I love a good Broadway story. Like that's all I want. I had a podcast where I just was like, let's tell Broadway stories. Let's tell stories that people don't know about and to hear um, Jerry's stories about creating hairspray and legally blonde and kinky boots with these incredible performers uh, and to hear Billy Porter who I've known for years because I went to Carnegie Mellon and he went to Carnegie Mellon and he taught my year he came back and taught for a semester so he taught me and directed me in in something you know which was quite a while ago, probably about 20 some years ago, and he's been inspiring me for those 20 years. So to get to hear him on this stage, on Gary's stage, was quite a full circle moment for me. Oh, that's like lovely. What a great story that is. Yeah. And, um, and can you tell us any projects you're working on right now? Yeah, right now I'm in uh, Central Park on Apple TV, the uh, animated musical show that I love so much. I play the character of Elwood. Uh, I just finished playing the king in Hamilton at the Pantages. We had a great run there. I was really proud to be a part of theater coming back live um, and in person. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad to be here tonight. Oh, thank you so much. And where can we find you on social media? Uh, I am at Mr. Rory O'Malley on Instagram and at Rory O'Malley on Twitter. So tell everyone your name. Scott Marshall. I'm Ethan Marshall. Yes. And my son, Ethan. Yes, <laughs> my dad. <laughs> yeah, and so tell us why we're here tonight. Uh, we're here tonight because Jerry Mitchell came to speak to Billy Porter and Jackie Seiden and Marissa and a bunch of people, and they were celebrating Jerry Mitchell tonight and his career on Broadway as a special fundraiser for the Gary Marshall Theater because Jerry directed Pretty Woman the Musical which was Gary Marshall's last project that he was working on. Yeah, so, so amazing. Your dad was such an amazing person. So how, how, did, how do you feel about the theater? I think the theater's great. It's doing good. They're keeping it up. They're doing shows. And, uh, you know, we're still cleaning a lot of Gary's stuff is still in the closets everywhere. We're finding junk everywhere and videotapes and jackets and hats and so we're still kind of trying to clean it out a little bit, but it's still going. But that's awesome to find all these like cute things that your dad and your grandfather had, right? There's a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of stuff that's not so cute. It's just kind of <laughs> ratty and dirty. My mom wants to get rid of it. But every once in a while, you find a Dodger jacket or a, you know, an award from some writing award he got in 1962. So you never know what you'll find. So, um, obviously, your grandfather is such an amazing person, right? Yeah. I mean, there's just crazy moments every day. Like, my friends or kids at my school will, like, quote some, something he's written or, like, a show that he did. Or um, one of my friends' favorite show was Happy Days, and, and they love Princess Diaries and Pretty Woman, even. Um, so, it's just, it's so crazy when those moments come back. I'm like, that's my grandpa. Like, I know him. I talked with him. Yeah, because um, my kids didn't really know the TV shows. You know, they weren't on reruns. Like, when I was a kid, Happy Days was on every day somewhere from right. when I was six till I was probably 30. And then it kind of 
dropped off. They didn't grow up with that, you know, with the the internet and everything. But now they 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 hear about it, you know. But they didn't. It wasn't a staple like it was for us. But weirdly, like Princess Diaries is, and uh, Pretty Woman is still around, you know. So it's uh, well, they still know about them. And that's what I think is so amazing is that these are just classic shows that have, you know, sustained time. And they're also so kind of, I don't know, the, the world wholesome, right? I yeah. mean, it's just, it's just, yeah. you, they, they're such great positive sh movies and shows, everything he's ever done. Yeah, yeah. Always has a good heart and a lot of laughs. And uh, yeah, that's what he, he would be so happy. People are still watching his, his work and even his grandkids. Yeah, I mean, all of his stuff is really, it's like a fairy tale, like everybody's, it's just people can come to these shows and these works where like everything works out and, and in the end everyone's happy and there's just such a wholesome good heart at the center of all of it. Um, and I think that's what keeps people like coming back and watching and it's, it's really fun to see. Yeah, he liked to make an escape. That's what he always said, that other producers were doing serious political and social commentary. He was doing recess. That's what he liked to do, you know fun and heartwarming and always a happy ending and you know that's why he didn't I don't think he won all the big awards and stuff because it wasn't cutting edge you know he was never about that he was more about giving people a break from you know the trials and tribulations of their lives and just laughing and having a good time for a half hour oh I agree but I think I think actually but he, he did win his awards as well yeah, but, yeah, I, but, yeah, but, but, I, and, but I know what you're saying but amazing and, and like Pretty Woman the musical I mean it's just continuing and continuing and I know for me I, I go to those shows like that's what makes me happy right now yeah. so thank you so much for taking the time um, so we can find Gary Marshall just Gary Marshall Theater correct and yeah. you have lots of shows coming up yes they're getting everything together now yeah check the website Gary Marshall Theater they're going to keep keep putting on shows. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Are you in the industry yourself? <laughs> he's in high school at the yeah, moment, I so mean. he's not quite. He's going to Northwestern for a summer program in screenwriting, so he's he's not Sorry. sure about show business. Carry on the legacy. He might, he might. he might. Maybe be better he'd be a lawyer, I think. That's what we could really use. <laughs> I agree. I agree. But Good he luck. He's a great actor, though. He is an actor. Thank and uh, you. Did get to act uh, when he was little in uh, Pops last movie mother's day oh, and he yeah. was actually were you in uh was in valentine's he day. was in valentine's day too yeah yeah he did get yeah. to act in the last few movies my dad put all the grandkids in so oh, i think did. that's so terrific what a legacy and that you worked with him that's yeah, wonderful yeah did get to work with him briefly thank, thank you, you.